Hello everyone, in today's video, we are going to cover the devices section and its related settings. Now, once you log in the property management web interface by property manager account, you go to the devices section. Over here, you can manage devices easily. You can see all devices information and you will be able to know in which building the device is located at, in which apartment the device is installed and its location, what the device name is, what the device MAC address is, what kind of the device it is, is the device online or offline, when it is connected to the cloud-based intercom system. You can also click the info icon for greater details about the device. You will get to know who the device owner is, the device firmware and hard version as well as device network information. A community's devices are too much. Sometimes you can hardly to find the device that needs to be checked. You can use such a feature here. If you want to change the device information, you can click the pen icon to modify. Here we use multi-tenant Dolphin R27 as an example. Go to location here. Here you can edit the location name of the device according to the needed. Contact the sighting. It is where you can set the contact display of such information as apartment number, indoor monitors, and apps on the device phone book. You can select the one you need it. Also, you can help to configure the exercise related settings. You can name the relay according to where the relay is located. You can also set up the DTMF code for the door exercise. Moreover, you can configure if you want the door to be unlocked on the home screen or talking screen of the app. And you can also configure more relays to be used at different locations such as front door, side door, or garage door for the door access control. After configuring, remember to click Submit. Alright, that's all about managing the devices on property web interface. If you have any question, you can contact us using the email address next below. See you in next section.